What is going on, miners? Welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So remember that coin, Ravencoin Lite? Well, it's evolved and it's changed and the developers have gone through a lot over the last several months. Uh, I did a video quite some time back when Ravencoin Lite first hit the market and kind of blew up. Um, you know, myself and some other content creators did a video on it and uh, it definitely had some traction. Well, it fell off, unfortunately, and there was some drama within the developers and some challenges. And then all of a sudden they had ASICs on um, the algorithm mining and it just didn't go well. Well, that team has kind of relaunched over the last several weeks and they've gone through their own challenges, but I've enjoyed following it along. They're very community centric. And I thought, hey, why don't we go ahead and do a video on Avian Network, which Avian, and if I'm pronouncing this wrong, feel free to leave comments down below. Um, but Avian is a um, another algorithm out there. It's very similar um, to Ravencoin Lite. Ravencoin Lite was um, X16R. This is X16RT. Uh, and they actually have a CPU mining uh, algorithm as well. We can talk about that in another video. But let's go ahead and dive into today's video talking about how to mine avian so i'm going to go ahead and run through this from start to finish um feel free to go ahead and check out their site if you guys want to learn more and all the details and stuff like that uh it's avn.network feel free to go over and check it out i don't know everything under the sun about the product but i have been following along with the developers so our first step in order to start mining is that you need to go ahead and download and install their wallet so to do that, come over to avn.network at the very top, go over and click wallet. And you can see they have a variety of different wallets available for you. So feel free to come over here, download the one that interests you. Today, we're going to be showing off the Windows wallet and select the download button and put it in a secure place um, that you have backed up, that you have available to you, and then go ahead and run the program and that will go ahead and launch it. And this is what you'll see. I don't have a ton uh, of it, so it's not like I'm showing you anything you shouldn't see. But this will take some time to build the block. So after you install it and you launch the Avian Core Wallet, it takes a long time to get caught up with the blockchain. Like, let that sucker run overnight. Don't sit there and watch it. After you've gone ahead and got it set up, the next thing you need to do is you need to get your receive wallet address. So in here, you can go on the left-hand side to receive, and then you can go ahead and, uh, let's see, where am I going here? I'm sorry, top left, go to file, and then go to receiving address. And in here, you can go ahead and grab your address. So you can click on it and go to copy. That'll go ahead and put the address in your clipboard. We'll use that in a future place uh, in Hive OS. But that is your avian an, um, network wallet. So now that we have our wallet set up, we're ready to go ahead and receive some coin. Our next thing to do is select our pool. So the reason we're selecting our pool next is because the pool is really going to affect how we configure our miner. So for this example, I'm going to select coin miners. There's lots of pools out there. They're not all up and operational at the very second of this video, but I'm going to use coin miners only because I'm pre-established on their platform. Uh, and it's the easiest to get up and running. There's a lot of other really good pools out there, but for today, we're gonna use Coin Miners. Granted, it has 85.1% of the known hash rate, but there's a lot of other ones like Zerg Pool and stuff like that that I have seen up and running in previous days, and those have dominated the hash rate. So for Coin Miners, you could go ahead and eat here and go to coinminers.com and click on it. And then once you're over here, you could come over to the right-hand side. You can actually see there's uh, two different coins here. Their Minx and also the X16RX. The Minx one is actually their CPU uh, mining. And then X16RT is the GPU mining. So once you come over here, this is going to give you all the information you're going to need. Things like um, the pool address that you would need within here. As well as if you scroll down, it gives you exact instructions how to mine it. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions. I am just going to be regurgitating this information for you today. So our next step from here is we need to go over to Hive OS and we need to add the Avian coin. It doesn't exist yet. So once you're over to Hive OS, 
you're going to go to your farm and you're going to go to wallets at the top. Once you come into wallets, you're going to go to add wallet in the upper right hand corner. You're then going to go ahead and you're going to type in AVN. It doesn't exist traditionally. Mine exists because I've already created that coin. So I'm going to go ahead and just do AVN2 to give you guys an example, but I would just put AVN. Once you go ahead and do AVN2, it's going to cut or AVN. It's going to say, do you want to create it? You hit create. Now it's going to ask for your address. Just hit control V. It's going to paste in the address that we went ahead and copied within our wallet. Next part is go ahead and name it. So you could just call this, you know, your avian wallet, whatever you want to do. And then you'll go ahead and click create. That will not only create the coin, but that'll also create your wallet as well within the platform. Moving on from there, our next step is to pick a rig and we want to create our flight sheet. So for this example, I'm going to use my Dryad rig. This one has a handful of RX 470s. I have seven of them available to us right now. I'm doing something else with the other ones. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to flight sheets and you're going to go to in the top right hand corner flight sheets. And then you're going to do create flight sheet. Now that's where we are right now. So you're going to hit the drop down and you're going to type uh, AVN. And then when you do that, it's going to provide you the wallet if you're interested in it. Now, I already have mine up and running. Um, so my wallet is right there. Yours will be pre-populated as well. And now it's going to come down to a pool. So because these pools aren't listed in HiveOS yet, you just want to click it and do configure in miner. Once that's done, we now want to go ahead and select a miner. So let's go back to their website. And if you come in here and go to start mining, you can see on their website, they have a few different miners available. NVIDIA has T-Rex and Crypto Dredge and AMD has Team Red Miner and Wild Fig for our example, or Wild Rig. For our example today, we're going to go ahead and select Team Red Miner. So I'm going to come in here, type in Team Red Miner, and now we're ready to go into Setup Miner Config. Once you're in here, we're going to click Setup Miner Config. This is where we have to get into the nitty gritty. So we need to click Hash Algorithm. And we're going to type in x16rt and it's going to find it for us under wallet and worker template we're going to click the i here and we're going to do wallet dot worker percent you see how it's that first one there and now we can get more of these instructions right here so right here you can see that in their instructions as to what they're showing uh we've gone through We've uh, attached that there, create a unique worker name for each of your miners and add that to the end of your receiving address in the username field, by example. So to continue this, I'm gonna show you my flight sheet I've already created because it does get a little complicated here. So let's follow along with that here. Okay, so this is one I previously created. I wanted to show you how it's laid out. So we did wallet.worker name. That's just, if you click the I, you can select that there. Now, worker names are already going to be pre-populated. You could just leave that with percent worker name. Now, for the pool, this is important. We need to go over and we need to select the pool that best applies to us. So you can see there's a variety in here. The one that we went ahead and went with was right here, the stratum plus TCP. And then it does the stratum.coinminers.com colon 3374. So you can see we have that right in here exactly what we talked about now for passwords so i'm solo mining on here and i've done actually pretty well on it but you don't have to solo mine that's completely up to you you could come down and see that there are some instructions down here for what you'd like to do if you just want to go ahead and mine off their pool you just put in a password create a password the here they just did your random password if you want to solo mine you'll just do a the random password you come up with comma M equals solo. This coin is so young right now. Solo mining is a good avenue to go. I've hit a few blocks along the way. Um, if we go ahead and take a look here at transactions, you can see that I hit a few along the way here. There's some that I hit here, 2487. I hit a 7,000 not too long ago. So we've hit a few here and there and done well with them. Completely your choice. So after you've populated this information, you'll just hit apply changes. Now your wallet is going to be ready to go. So now we're going to go back to our worker. We're going to select our worker of choice, which is this one here. Under flight sheet, we're going to go ahead and find our avian flight sheet. And we're going to go ahead and send it to the moon. 
Now that's going to go ahead and start the uh, configuration process. And within a few minutes, we should start to see some mining. Okay, guys, so we gave it two to three minutes. And as you guys can see, we are up and mining on coin miners. Uh, the next step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to the pool and validate that you do see on the pool side that you are mining. Once you're over on the pool, it depends how often they update. Coin miners definitely take some time to update here. But you can see right now it is showing our workers and you can see that our dryad rig is up and mining and we are solo mining currently right now. I actually took it off mining to go ahead and do the video and then we put it right back on. But you can see that we're over here. You can also come over and check out your payments to see when you receive payments within here. And then you can go to pending blocks found. You can see that there's some in here and then confirm blocks found. Those are in here as well. So you can view all of that info. You can also set your payout threshold too. Now, if you look up top under hash rate, what I have found is I got to give this several minutes to go ahead and catch up. I'd say a good 30 minutes to start reflecting the hash rate that we are seeing within Hive OS before we see it over here. But this is going to give you guys a good opportunity to view this. Be patient with coin miners. I have found that some of their info does take longer than I originally expected to go ahead and update. Well, guys, that's it for today's video showing you guys how to go ahead and mine Avian. I would recommend that you guys go over and join their Discord. This isn't sponsored by them or anything. Their Discord has a lot of really friendly people. They're very active from their devs' perspectives. I mean, they're posting daily uh, changes, new wallets to download, you know, th new things coming. This is a very young pro uh, project, and I will make sure that I push right now. This is speculative mining. This isn't going to make you more money than Ethereum. It's not going to make you more money than your Ravencoin or your Ergo or your Flux. This is pure speculative mining. So if you have GPUs that you can afford to go ahead and put into speculative mining to get a little bit of that bag put aside just in case this ever pops this is for you if you literally can't take your cards off of ethereum because you can't you can't afford to go ahead and move away from ethereum and the profitability at this moment this is not for you entirely speculative mining well hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on avian if you guys did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe take care